We are on to our fourth match of Road to Counterbalance. This will be the other qualifier for the Interstate Championship. And look at this stacked roster. Man, there are four big names in this match, depending on where you get your wrestling. If you get it from the Indies, you've got Anthony Falcone. If you get it from FSCW, you've got Corey Kerr. If you're an old school MMWF guy, you've got Brady Pope. And if you're a new school MMWF guy, you've got Taco Loco. This is going to be a real big match filled with big names. This could be a match of the night contender. We've already had three great matches tonight. Of course, this elimination four-way, the trademark match of the MMWF. And here we go. Let's start with the introductions. First up is Anthony Falcone. Back here at the Sports Ohio Center, the Sports Ohio Complex in Dublin, Ohio. Lights go out as we get ready for our second superstar. The most decorated man in this match. From Toledo, Ohio, weighing in at 233 pounds, the Dragon. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our fatal four-way match. And one of these superstars will walk away from here with plenty to brag about. While the other three will likely be wondering what went wrong for them here tonight. Brady Pope coming to the ring. Well, he definitely looks ready for what's ahead of him here tonight. That's for sure. I agree with that, Michael. In fact, I don't remember the last time I saw him in better shape than he's in right now. Brady sporting a, a, a familiar but updated look. For 2000, for the 2K18 season, we saw his superstar profile on the MNWF page, and just looking at his title history, the man is an is already an MMWF legend, one of the original ten. Brady facing off with Anthony Falcone. And here comes our third. Corey, of course, from FSCW, very successful over there, three-time FSCW World Champion. We've already seen the current FSCW World Champion win here tonight. And here comes the fourth.
the most anticipated debut of this 2K18 season in this commentator's opinion. Taco Loco has a good thing going with Taco Truck. He's had some high-profile wins. Now looking to add an interstate title. The winner of this match will face Cameron, or I'm sorry, Ned. So Taco Loco could face his tag team partner from Taco Truck. Second place in this match will fill out the Fatal 4-Way TV title TLC match, which already includes Jimmy Hotkeys, Black Mamba, and Cameron Lee. And you're looking at these four guys and you're thinking that one of them, at least one of them, is not just going to be looking at interstate championship but a future world championship. And of course, we know that more multiple of these people are going to be in that Royal Rumble match for the world championship at Counterbalance. Yeah, but these competitors will have their hands full, Cole. In a fatal four-way, you have to have your head on a swivel at all times. Taco Loco. The appreciation this Columbus crowd is giving these superstars. Oh, no, a counter. And Taco Loco is going to be in front of a hometown crowd in Detroit. He needs to find a way to get back on the offensive. He wants to take this fatal throwaway match. Corey Kerr on the second rope, looking to do some off, some, do some damage to Anthony Falcone with a second rope double axe handle. Brady Pope. And he doesn't stay down for long. Yeah, it's gonna take flip over jawbreaker. Corey Kerr gets the first pin of the match. It's a one count. Got it. Brady with a nice body splash there. Now that's a takedown. Talk about devastation. Well, those kind of acrobatics will keep the eyes of the WWE Universe on you at all times. He's looking a little off balance. The four-way match is clearly getting the better of him here. And now Corey, or Brady rather, appealing to the crowd. I'm going with him. It's hard not to root for The man is an MMWF legend, like I said. Doesn't have to do much to appeal. But Taco Loco. And he lands a nice counter. Brady barely getting out of that power bomb from Taco, but he gets jacked in the face. Starting to crack here. You can't help it. And a German suplex pin. Corey breaking it up, and now he wants to go after Taco Loco. He's not getting up. You can't like his chances right now. Corey and Taco train together. Under Freak Show, Sean Woolley. There must be serious injuries. The last world champion for the MMWF. These two are very familiar with each other, but Taco Loco went to RNF and D while Corey Kerr went to FSCW. And then Falcone going for a pin on Brady. That would have been upset of the year. And a fisherman suplex there. Anthony was getting mad. Brady is punishing him for it. Oh, what a zigzag there! The zigzag for Brady! A statement. Nobody gets up from a takedown like that. There's no recovery from that. Just when you thought he had Brady rolls over. Anthony, here's the pin after the zigzag. One. Two. Not even a two counts. Brady. A weird two count. I think he may have waited too long to try and pin Anthony Falcone there. Corey Kerr getting back up to his feet. And Taco now going after Brady. And Taco Loco. Nice suplex. Taco. Also appealing to the crowd. This crowd already loves Taco, that's for sure. Taco Truck, one of the most popular stables in the Fed. Taco, big elbow to the spine, and he's... Look at this combo! Anthony Falcone with a big DDT on Corey. 
And that's the Irish Curse backbreaker on Taco. Anthony Falcone sneaking in the finisher on Taco Loco. Two. But I don't think it was in time. Come on, ref. Finish the count. He's not giving up that easy. And now Corey continuing to work on Anthony Falcone. Taco is dazed. Brady just now getting back up. German suplex from Brady. Pin after the German. One. All four of these men know what it means to have another title like the Interstate Championship around your waist. No matter how decorated you are, no matter how many titles you've won in other feds, Taco Loco with the pin. Two and a half, a very generous half. Taco, oh, that was the Gorn, that was the Gornita. The knee to the face of Brady, one. Two, ooh, another kick out by Brady. Taco. A Saturn style arm breaker there. As Falcone hit a big move on Corey in the background there. Corey is still down, Falcone. Tying up the leg. Now Brady, ah, that's my move. Of course, we used to team up. If you remember, we did, were the tag team, team bitch out. A zigzag there on Taco. Taco's taking a lot of damage here. Taco on a second rope, the Lunchador. Gonna go big. Big head scissor there, Corey Kerr. He might have it. The Falcon Air, the Samoan driver there from Corey Kerr eliminates Anthony Falcone. Anthony's done. And now this is a three-man match. Brady, Taco, and Corey. Brady might be looking for the PKO here. Taco's already taken a lot of damage. We could see Brady versus Corey here if Taco is not careful. Taco Loco behind Corey here. You superstars are as dominant. Wheelbarrow face buster there. Whoops, not even close. What Wait a minute, what is this? What, what is this? That's a Windsor knot. Taco Loco, oh, right in the butthole. Corey. It got tied up in a, a Windsor knot there. That was that was something else. As Taco goes to the top rope, Brady is about to punish Taco here. Ace, an avalanche, X-Factor on Taco Loco. Brady with the pin after that huge move. One, two, Taco kicks out. And I'm receiving word that the... That... Wins or not, we saw from Taco Loco is the new Montezuma's Revenge. The Canadian Destroyer, no longer. Montezuma's Revenge is that wins or not, which that is not a fun hold to be tied up in. But now Corey and Brady are both working on Taco Loco. And I don't think he's very long for this match, but there's a big jawbreaker there. And the ref bulldozed. Corey now putting Taco on the top rope. The ref slow to get up. Corey now has Taco ready for another superplex here. And it connects. Brady now pinning Taco after the superplex to Taco still alive. Corey has had enough. And so is Brady, apparently. <clears throat> 
And Brady and Corey really working over Taco here. I'm surprised to see these two on the same page. You would think that Corey and Taco would be down, but here we are as Brady, a vicious DDT there. Taco just barely getting away from Corey, but Brady was right there. And Brady Pope. I mean, we know he's experienced, but I didn't think that he was that vicious. And Corey is going to put Taco into the ring post. Those upgraded ring posts. They're not just steel. They've got electronics inside of them. And what a... That was a kick right to the face. What a super kick by Taco Loco. But he's immediately taken down by Corey. Corey's demanding he gets up. He's crawling up the ropes. Corey wants to put this one away, I think. Corey wants to book his ticket to counterbalance. Off the ropes here. Oh, my goodness. A big DDT. And now Corey with the pin after the DDT. One, two, three. Wait a minute. 2.9. The ref says it was two. Unbelievably close. Brady German suplex pin. One, two. Taco rolls out of the bridge. And Brady and Corey are still working on Taco. And he's going for the rest cycle. No, he's dropping Taco on the top rope. And Brady gets the two for one. Zigzag, sneak attack, zigzag on Corey. Wait, Taco Loco sees his opportunity. Neck breaker on Taco, but Brady stays down. Corey, the first one to his feet, and now he's looking down Brady. Not liking that sneak attack, and sure enough, no, what a reversal by Brady. Not going to win many matches with that move. Snapmare by Brady. Follows it up with a jawbreaker. Taco, though. That's the Scoville rush. This has to be it. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Now whips Brady up, but Brady right there with a the reversal. He's in trouble. Now eyeing down both Taco and Corey, who are having trouble getting to their feet. <gasps> PKO! PKO! But Corey looking to stop Brady from getting the pin. Off the ropes, stepping over Taco Loco and a big face buster there. Corey Kerr. And Byron, he's still down after that one. Yeah, that did some big time damage, Michael. Cameron has got to be That's watching this match idea. closely to find out who the last person in that TV title match is going to be. Ned wants to know if his tag team partner is going to survive. Brady. A clubbing clothesline. Taco Loco's feeling it, but he got stomped on by Corey Kerr. Taco not having any of that. Oh, but what a clothesline by Corey. Corey just jawing at Taco, demeaning Taco. Oh, but that was the Gornita. Ta Corey's busted open. Two, three, the Gornita out of nowhere eliminates Corey Kerr. And it's Taco Loco versus Brady. Both have now clinched their ticket to counterbalance. Taco Loco, Brady Pope. Taco would like an opportunity to face his tag team partner, the standing red arrow. A drop kick to the shoulder. This match has gone on a while. I think he went for the Gornita on Brady. But Brady with the 
block in the zigzag. That's going to put him away. Brady going over to the turnbuckle, getting fired up. I think he wants to put Taco away with the PKO. Taco picked up. Oh, he went for the PKO. Taco blocked it. But there was a nice flatliner there. And now Brady going to try it again. There it is, the P-K-O, Brady moonwalking over to the pin, no rope break, two, three, Brady Pope will face Ned for the Interstate Championship belt. What? What a match there. Brady chalking up another win. So it's going to be Brady versus Ned for the interstate title. And it's going to be for the TV title. Jimmy Hotkeys, Black Mamba, Cameron Lee, and Taco Loco. That is an explosive match. And it's going to be a TLC match. Are you kidding me? We're going to continue with our last match, the Valkyrie Division match, in just a moment. So stay tuned here on the MMWF Network.